I am Anil Kumar. We are discussing applications of vectors. This video is for the students whose concepts in physics are not all that clear. However, they have to do forces and equilibrium of forces in vectors. So here is an application question. I have taken two very similar kind where we'll measure or calculate tension in the cord. Question number one. A 20 kg bars is suspended from a ceiling or by two cords. The cord make an angle of 45 degrees and 70 degrees with a perpendicular drawn to the ceiling. Determine the tension in each cord. Question number two is a 20 kg mass is suspended from a ceiling by two cords. The cord make an angle of 50 degrees and 60 degrees with the ceiling. Determine the tension in each cord. So I've purposely taken two very similar questions. We are given the questions. We need to sketch appropriate diagrams. So let's look into it. A 20 kg mass is suspended from a ceiling by two cords. So let's say this is the ceiling, right? So this is our ceiling. So from this ceiling, we will attach two cords and then hang a mass, right? So, so let's say uh, that is how we are attaching, right? Let's say that is what we did, let's say. And from here, we'll hang something. So that becomes the diagram. Now in this diagram, it says that the, the cord makes an angle of 45 degrees and 70 degrees with the perpendicular drawn to the ceiling. Now what does that mean? Now perpendicular means something that is the ceiling, so perpendicular. So we'll assume the line to be kind of like this. Does it make sense to you? So this is the perpendicular, right? So the angles which have been made are, let's write down these angles now, 45 and 70, right? So, well, this is not to the scale, but we can just write some angles here. So let us say that one of the angles here is, let's say this is 45, let's say, okay. And let this be 70 degrees. Right? So we just wrote, this is not to the scale. So that is what it means when I say, perpendicular drawn to the ceiling, right? And then these angles. The mass is 20 kg. That is the mass. So remember, we have to convert mass to Newton force. Do you see that? So, so the force, which is mass times the gravity, will be 20 times 9.8 kg weight, right? So we also say Newtons. So when you multiply this, 2 times 8 is 16, 6, 1, 196 Newtons or kg weight. So both are the units. So that is the weight. So this weight pulls it downwards because of which we have tensions in these two cords. And we'll try to find what these tensions are. So we'll call this as T1 and the other one as T2. So I hope the diagram is clear to you, correct? Now let's look into the second one. Same, I've taken 20 kg mass and hanging from a ceiling, right? So kind of similar. So let me again sketch something similar and then we'll figure out what is given to us, right? Okay, now this time it says, a 20 kg mass is suspended from a ceiling by two cords. These are the two cords. The cord makes an angle of 50 degrees and 60 degrees with the ceilings. Now this time the angles are with the ceilings. You get an idea, right? So we are talking about these angles now. Correct? So now the angles are 50 degrees and 60 degrees with the ceiling. So this is the ceiling. Determine the tension in each cord. So, so this is again T1, that is T2, and that is 20 kg mass. So 20 kg means 196 Newton. So that is absolutely clear to you, right? 
Now, so these are the diagrams and I hope the questions are clear. Now I'd like you to pause the video, answer these questions, right? Now in the next part, I'm going to show you the solution of each. And I'll also show you how to really sketch the vector diagram to find the solution, right? So let's take this up once again. So here we have 20 kg mass. We already sketched this. Let me redo the sketching, right? So we have this ceiling. And what we did was that we just, we are just hanging something uh, from the ceiling. Let's say that is how we are hanging it. A weight of 20 kg. So 20 kg gives us 20 times 9.8. That makes it Newton. And the value is 196 Newtons. Now there is tension because of this weight hanging on this. The angles given to us are with the vertical, right? So they are with the vertical. Uh, let me complete this diagram. Right, so this is 90 degrees. And the angles are uh, 45 degrees and 70 degrees. Let's say this is 45 degrees and this is 70 degrees. Now here, before finding the tensions in the string T1 and T2, let us also see how to sketch the diagram. Now, the concept here is to look into equilibrium. So if there is an equilibrium, we have a resultant force which is acting in the opposite direction. We also call it as equi equilibrium force which acts in the opposite directions right so so this is the weight which is acting downwards so if i have to make my vector diagram what i really do is i move this parallel and in opposite direction to that end right so see how i'm going to sketch it so what i will do here is this particular force i'm going to put it here like this. So that becomes my resultant, right, in the opposite direction. And I'll use one of those tensions same as this, right? And the other one is coming from here. So what I do here is that I extend this line in that direction. Do you see that? Now that is my resultant. Do you see my vector diagram now? So this what I'm sketching now is called vector diagram. Now how do we find angles? Let's look into the angles also. Okay, let me extend this kind of like this. So this becomes vertical, is it okay? So that is the situation. So from the figure, it is very clear that with the vertical, this is like these two are parallel lines. This is 70 degrees. So this is also 70 degrees, correct? Now that makes 90. So 70 and 20 makes 90. This is 45. I just stretched this. And so this is 45. Correct? Now you could add that and take away from 180 to get this angle. Also, what you could do is, this is also 45, correct? So this is 45, is that okay? So that makes the whole angle as 45 plus 20, which is 60 degrees. Does it make sense to you? So this is 60 degrees, or 65, I'm sorry. 20 plus 45, right? So 20 plus 45, gives me 65 degrees that is the angle you can check 70 65 and 45 gives you 120 degrees so that becomes your vector diagram where this is t1 t2 perfect so i hope the concept is clear how did i draw it once again this weight is acting downwards resultant is acting upwards i moved it here aligned it with one of the tensions and brought the other force or the tension force and made my triangle so some of these two should be equal to the resultant that's the whole idea okay now we get a triangle 
where we know this resultant R is basically because of the weight 196 Newtons is it okay so now we can apply sine law and solve the triangles so apply sine law to solve so the combination which is known to us is is 196 over the angle 65 right so we can write t1 over angle opposite to t1 is 70 degrees sine of 70 degrees is equal to 196 over angle opposite is 65 is equal to t2 divided by the angle opposite to t2 is 45 sine of 45 degrees does it make sense to you so two simple equations to give you the answer right one is t1 is equals to this factor which is known times sine 70 196 over sine 65 times sine 70 that gives you one answer the other one is t2 which is 196 over sine of 65 times sine 45 degrees correct so let's figure this out so we have 196 divided by sine 65 so whatever this number is we are going to multiply this by sine 70 to get the tension in first string which is 203.2 the answer is in newtons for the second one we'll again do the same thing 196 divided by sine of 65 and multiply this by sine of 45 so the answer here is 152.9 newtons. So that is the way to solve. If you want to round and write down your answers, you can say T1 is equals to 203 newtons and T2 is equal to 153 newtons, correct? So I hope the concept is absolutely clear. You should be in a position to answer the second one without any problems. So let's get back to again sketching it's a part of learning for us so here we again have a ceiling okay and what we are given is that a 20 kg mass is suspended from a ceiling by two cords let's say these are my two cords and that's the mass acting here the angles made here are 50 and 60 degrees with the ceiling so the angles which we are talking about are with the ceiling these are the angles this time let's let me say this is 50 degrees and the other one is 60 degrees how are you going to sketch the vector diagram from here so we'll sketch vector diagram that is the first step we know this mass is 20 kg right so we know 20 kg is equal to 196 newtons we just times it with 9.8 right which is forced due to gravity uh, meters per second square to get this answer uh, uh, 196 so this is one right okay 196 newton so the idea is again let's look into it that's kind of a resultant so we just put it here resultant force we are moving this tension right in this direction so we get this tension here already the other one is there perfect so we get our vector diagram so easy so easy so don't have to really do it separately this is good enough now this is 60 so alternate angles 60 degrees perfect that is 50 so this 50 is is with what it is with the horizontal as you can see so that angle is 50 degrees this time is it okay and this side for us is equal to 196 newtons that makes 90 degrees so this angle is 60 minus 9 from 90 30 degrees and over here we have a vertical you can think like this that angle is equal to this angle right which has to be 40 degrees correct so as a test you can add all these angles which is 
30 plus 60 plus 50 plus 40 is how much, right? We know this is 110. So we get 110 plus 70 is 180 degrees. So that is sum of angles in a triangle, which is our vector diagram. Okay. So that is kind of a check. Now, to find tensions, let's say this is tension 1, this is tension 2. Then we can write tension 1 over. Now here tension 1 is right here, correct? So this side over the opposite angle, sine of 30 degrees, should be equal to 196 over this angle, which is 110, should be equal to second core tension over sine of 40 degrees. Is that correct? So this time what we will do is, we'll again cross multiply, write down our answer. T1 is 196 over sine of 110 degrees times sine of 30 degrees and T2 is again 196 over sine of 110 degrees times sine of 40 degrees. Perfect? Okay. So let's see. So we get 196 divided by sine of 110 times sine of 30 to get the first answer, which is equals to 104. I'm rounding it to one whole numbers. The other one is 196 divided by sine of 110 times sine of 40 degrees, which gives us 134 newtons, right? So don't forget the units, newtons. As you can see, you can always solve this question just in three steps. Do you see that? Just in three steps, these questions can be solved. So I hope you find it useful and interesting. Now for you, I'm giving you a test question. So I'm making question number three for you. Question number three, where the ceiling we have, and we have two chords just as we had earlier, with mass, right? But this time, I'm giving you the length of the chords. Let's say this length over here is, uh, is, is let's say, 60 centimeters, okay? And the other lengths are 50 centimeters and 40 centimeters, correct? So these are the lengths of the chords. I'm not giving you angles. And here, we have 20 kg. In this case, find T1 and T2. So find T1 and T2, right? So that is your question. Remember, I've not given you the angles. I've given you the length of the chords, correct? So uh, hint is use cosine law to find angles, right? These angles and then solve, okay, and then solve. That should help you to find the tension in each string. I'm Anil Kumar, I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe my videos, that'd be great. Thank you, and all the best.